hello everyone welcome to data on my view today i'm going to show one of the real time scenario which we usually face when we build a report on uh, business objects so the scenario would be like uh, customer or end user expect uh, these kind of uh, prompt screen selection and they may expect uh, uh, three di ref different report outputs so here if you see view uh, under view they may need uh, three different value if they select product then uh, they have to see only this table of figure if they select year then uh, it has to show only that first uh, table of figure so based on the the selection in the prompt screen that report layout should be vary so end user has to see only one table of figures uh we have to handle this situation in a single report in a single universe so if this is the case i'm going to create uh, this particular view from screen because other client product category customer uh, usually will come from uh, uh, universe and databases so no need to worry about that so we have to concentrate only on this particular drop down or uh, uh, view uh, from screen selection so based on this we are going to control this table of figures visibility so now i'm going to add this uh, view in universe level so here uh, i have a e face in universe here uh, as i said it has to show the values in a list of uh, lob list of values i'm going to create a value uh, with a static information I have created already so here you can see my uh, lob name is uh, view under i have uh, year product and country so i'm going to assign this lob into the uh, parameter so i have assigned already i'm going to save this here i just make uh, the selection as uh, Uh, keep last value and then check that allow multiple values because user is going to choose only one value as the input so just save this and go to business layer here uh, there are uh, uh, too many ways to add this particular prompt into this business layer uh, for example uh, if you uh, have a dimension you can directly use the dimension in a web uh, report filter and there you can uh, filter this uh, uh, assign this parameter i will show that one as well but now i'm going to create a filter here itself uh, let me create a measure uh, sorry filter here i would say view and in var condition as as i'm going to have one static parameter it, this is not uh, uh not a part of this particular uh, universe i mean a particular uh, database or uh, uh, data source so i'm going to add this so it is going to give you an error because in a var class i'm not uh, assigned anything uh, from these uh, dimensions measures these are just a static so this is not a part of our database or data source so fine uh, just save this so to verify whether this is working or not you can go to queries and add query and you can simply drag one of the uh, object and drag view into the report filter just refresh this here as we expected uh, we can select the value so again it is uh, showing all the values because it, this filter is not going to affect that uh, database uh, data source data right so i'll delete this i don't want to keep this now i'm going to uh, publish this so this is my universe uh, business layer publish to repository and next and i will publish outside right now i'm going to reporting layer and i'm going to choose universe
so we need to search for the t fashion which we deployed now just type e e fashion so we need to know which one we deployed now i think this is a one let me check again publish repository next universe so better i will publish to one of the folder so that we can easily identify all right so i just selected um it is not showing that particular folder refresh So this is a folder, right? Actually, it is not deployed. Publish repository. Open this folder and finish. Okay, now we could see that. Okay, here this is our universe. Select. so this is just a scenario so here you can have a different requirement instead of your uh, product and uh, country you may have a different values so here i need to have state city and year month then line category new and measures sales revenue quantity sold so here uh, we have our view all right so let me show this first so here uh, it is coming so based on the selection it is going to give all the results so it is not going to restrict any data so so instead it is just uh, giving you the option to select so for example if you don't want to create this fi this filter or this type you can have some dimensions maybe dimensions or measures and here you can go to prompt and here use universe parameter so you just use universe parameter this is our parameter and click okay so so it means if you select any value then it is going to check under uh, lines uh, column so we don't want to do that I just go to not set not equal to so now i'm going to refresh this i'll say year so it is going to give you all the results so because uh, we just used this line as a dummy to have that uh, universe parameter to uh, to select uh, any one of the uh, value whether a product category or uh, year so you can do like this or you can create a filter in a universe layer and you can have that one so i'm going to have this filter then query so I'll say year so once we got we are going to uh, create these three table of figures and we are going to play with the visibility so we got this i don't want to have all the column in a single table of figure i'll take a year month sorry month quantity sold and sales revenue so this is my one of the table of figure which is the first one and i'm going to have another table of figure with category line and just a sales revenue and the third table of figure is going to be a state
then month then i will have sales revenue so these are the three sorry state city i don't want month here actually i added month already okay so these are the three table of figures so based on this selection it has to show only one table of figures so to hide these properties we will get the user response first so i'm going to create a new variable called view and here i'm going to use the function called user response here uh, which prompt actually we have only one prompt as for our demo i just selected validate then okay so we created the variable so this variable view is going to have the user selection so for example if i uh, select product as my selection then this particular view variable is going to have that product information i mean uh, the name product so we are going to make use of this view uh, in all these three three table of figures so i'm going to format table and we here we have option called hide when following formula is true so i'm going to have this check box and here just take that variable and uh, what is the function we need to know actually if that is not equal to year so this first table of figure is year right so say year uh, should be in a double quotes so when this view value is not equal to year then it has to hide so when view equal to year then it will not hide so i'm going to copy this and click okay so what is the value now now we selected product so that's the reason year table of figure is hidden so now we are going to say for this one so this is going to be product right so replace here with product so it should be correct uh, format correct spelling as you given in this uh, prompt screen and uh, this is going to be country so just verify this and click okay so this is also going to uh, hide because uh, we selected product right so now i'm going to change the value to quant country so it is going to show country so all other two tables will be hidden so now i can hand over this report to the end user uh, they can select here sorry uh, it is not selected they can select here and uh, they can see that uh, year related uh, layout or table of figures with all other charts so if you have a charts then you can apply the same uh, show and hide uh, uh, property for the chart as well so when you select a value it is going to show only that respective uh, layouts all right so this is going to be one of the real time scenario which usually uh, uh, end users or a customer will expect from the uh, client